The overall goal of this procedure is to establish persistent, long-term, chronic Pseudomonas aeruginosa airway infection in mice. This is accomplished by first culturing the selected Pseudomonas aeruginosa bacterial strain. The second step is to embed bacteria into small agar beads by mixing bacteria with agar and mineral oil at 50 degrees Celsius and then cooling down the mixture at 4 degrees Celsius under slow, continuous stirring. Next, the mineral oil is removed by several washes with PBS and an aliquot of the agar beads is homogenated and plated on agar plates to determine the bacterial content. The final step is to inject a few microliters of the agar bead suspension into the trachea of mice to establish a chronic Pseudomonas aeruginosa lung infection. Ultimately, bronchoalveolar lavage fluid and lungs can be recovered at different time points from challenge and plated on agar plates to detect the percentage of chronically infected mice and the bacterial load in the airwaves of survived mice. The main advantage of these agabits methods over the existing methods is that it allows a stable long-term chronic infection in a high percentage of mice, leading to persistence of a stable bacterial load up to one month. The agabits methods provide in the mouse lung the microanaerobic condition that allows bacteria to grow in the form of microcolonies similarly